Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix crashes and system shutdowns for Persona 5 The Phantom X on Steam for the PC. It's very easy to do. There are a couple of different steps, so try not to skip them. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your GPU is up to date. Of course, I'm not going to show you how to do that. But also, I uh, you should make sure that your Windows is up to date too. Um, I would type in settings, Windows update on the left hand side. And from here, you want to click on check for updates and then install any updates for Windows if you can. Okay, the next thing you want to do is run the game as an administrator. So let me exit out of the game. You want to right click on the game, go to properties, go to installed files, uh, click on browse right here. And you'll see something called p5x.exe. You want to right click on this, click on properties, go to compatibility. And you want to click on run this program as an administrator and then try it again. Um, a lot of crashes are caused by permission issues, especially in areas like the velvet room. Okay, hit apply, hit okay. After you have done that, uh, while you're here, click on verify integrity of game files. What this does, this will check all of the game files to see if they are corrupt. And if they are corrupt, they get automatically replaced. It is very, very useful. Um, the next thing I want to, you to do is to go into the graphics and set the quality to low um, and disable V-Sync or high resolution textures if you have them on. That tends to crash the game if your computer can't handle it. The next thing, uh, sorry that is my baby crying, the next thing uh, is to clear the game cache. So how do you do that? You open up Windows uh, File Explorer. You open up Windows File Explorer, go to C, Users. So C, Users, whatever your current username is. Uh, go to App Data. This is a uh, hidden folder. So you can click on View, uh, Show Hidden Items and click on App Data. From here, click on Local. And from here, find P5X game. Click on that and uh, delete the cache folder. Uh, don't worry, um, it will get automatically recreated when you launch the game. But this uh, will fix a lot of crashes uh, caused by corrupted temporary files. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to uh, disable overlays in Steam. So when you run the game, you want to right click on it in your library, go to properties and disable this in your Steam. Uh, by the way, do the same for Discord as well. Uh, just click on, uh, I can show you, hold on one second. So click on user settings, the little cog thing here, scroll down until you see game overlay and make sure that these two things are turned off. The next thing you want to do is adjust some settings if you're in Windows. So what do you do in Windows? You want to go into type in settings. From here, go to gaming on the left hand side. And from here, go to game mode. And from here, uh, you can toggle it off um, if it is on because it can uh, interfere with some games. The next thing you want to do after you have done this is go into system display. Graphics settings. graphics I should say advanced graphics settings and uh, you can see something uh, like uh, it's called hags uh, uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling hags uh, turn this off because it might cause instability with some GPUs after you have done that what you want to do is open the file system checker so Type in CMD into search, right click on this, hit run as administrator. And from here, you want to type in SFC space slash scan now and hit enter. And what this will do, uh, this will scan your entire file system for uh, corrupt files and automatically replace them. Okay. Now, this takes a couple minutes to finish, but as after it's finished, try to see if it has worked. And the last thing I would recommend is uh, something called Exit Lag. Uh, what this does, it's a software that you can download up. There's a video in the link 
a link in the video description below. But um, basically it's a VPN that speeds up your connection to online games. I use it for this game to uh, get more FPS and get better lag. Right now you can see I have, I'm connected to Steam at three ping. Um, you go into library, you search for Persona 5 The Phantom X, you uh, search for the server, you hit apply roots. Uh, it is free for the first uh, three days. Um, you can also do school stuff like you can shotgun internet, different internet connections, you can uh, boost your FPS on your PC and, and things like that. It is free to try, might as well give it a try. There's a link in the video description below. And that is it. If this video has helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a nice day.